Do Australians say academia? What do they say? Academia. I'm an academic. Academia. Academia? Acad dark academia. Dark academia. Dark academia. It's a style I'm not particularly familiar with, but I'm going to give it my best shot today. I took to Twitter and I asked people, please send me your favorite photos of dark academia inspired outfits. And uh, now I'm going to take said photos. They're going to inspire me while I'm at the thrift store. I believe what I'm going to be looking for today are things like white turtlenecks, brown tweed jackets, beige trench coats, plaid pants, leather belts, leather satchel bags, brown loafer style shoes, I think, or at least brown school shoes or boots. So with that, let's head to the thrift store. That took a hot minute to park, but hey, we're here now. <laughs> Alright, so I'm starting off at Lifeline. This Lifeline doesn't have a massive selection of homewares, but it does have a huge amount of clothing and it's pretty reasonably priced too. Alright, well things didn't go quite as well as I thought they would. I found a couple of things that would have suited the theme, but they were kind of expensive. But uh, I did manage to walk out with one thing, this bag. And all the ladies at the counter were raving about how lovely it was. And they thought it was a really reasonable price too. It's leather, it's 110% vintage, without a doubt. Anyway, I'm going to head downstairs now to Vinnie's.
this is turning out much harder than I thought it was going to be. I really thought, I really thought I would go to two stores and I would come away with 10 different dark academia outfits. But here we are, I have two coats and a bag. So I think that I'm going to have to head out to a different store, a different area entirely and try my luck elsewhere. I've just pulled up outside the Vinnies at Borkham Hills and I find that this place has a little bit more of an older demographic. Some of the clothes seem to be a little bit older. So hopefully, hopefully we can find dark academia, tweed and all that sort of thing. Well, once again, things didn't go quite as expected. Uh, I have walked out now with a box of homewares and not very much to do with dark academia. I do have two pieces of clothing, but uh, I found some amazing vases. So they're for a different video, but I think I'm gonna have to head a little bit further afield now because I'm not having any luck out here. So I'm about to head to the Salvation Army at Seven Hills because it's huge. I think I looked at every single item of clothing in that salvos and uh, I've walked away with something that's not dark academia, that's for a different video, a pair of pants and a belt and a bunch of homewares because I can't stop, won't stop. But uh, now I've come to the Vinnies at uh, Blacktown because this is the next one over basically. So hopefully I have better luck in here. All right, maybe I'll have better luck at the salvos at Marion. And uh, once I'm done there, time to get a Slurpee from 7-Eleven. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Well, I haven't had a huge amount of luck finding the things that I was looking for, so I'm going to pull out the big guns and I'm going to head to Windsor and Richmond, which is about 30 minutes from where I am now, so road trip!
Richmond salvos sure did provide, uh, and not just dark academia clothing, but they also provided Murano glass. Oh my God. Also had a quick look in Vinnie's at Richmond. Didn't find much, uh, did find a pastel skirt, but uh, that's not for this video. <laughs> All right, I've arrived at the promised land. Windsor, the Windsor Vinnie's and the Salvos are the best. Okay, I said I was done for the day because I thought I had everything I needed from the Salvos in Windsor, but I've just stopped in Rouse Hill to go to the South African store because I can't go a day of thrift shopping without buying Biltong. Conveniently, there is also a Vinnie's here. I don't actually need anything else, but I'm just gonna go in here anyway. <laughs> I'll just have a look, she said. I won't buy anything, she said. All right, guys, I'm back and I'm in disguise because there was something about my regrowth and my blue, green, and yellow hair that didn't quite scream academia. Or is it academia? Sorry, someone left a comment the other day and they were like, it's the way that she says academia like macadamia for me. I was like, uh, I've done it again. There I go with my Australian accent. But then I started to think about it a bit more and I was like, do Australians say academia? Or do they say academia? I'm an academic, academia, academia? Dark academia. Dark academia. <laughs> Maybe I should just post a video like how to pronounce things with Alex. Anyway, there was something about my terrible hair that didn't scream academic, so we're wearing a wig. I hope you don't mind. So let's have a look at these items that I picked up. Um, obviously very different sort of style to what I'm used to and I'm not going to be keeping a lot of these things. I'm actually going to be giving them to various people for Christmas. I have a lot of friends that adore this type of clothing. They go crazy for it. So I won't be hanging on to a lot of this stuff. Some of it I will. We'll see how we go. So let's start off with this jacket. Now this is a leather jacket. This is a brand called Essentials Collections. This is extremely, extremely heavy. Leather. Yes, so it is leather. It's ridiculously heavy. Looks quite old too to me. Looks like the price tag isn't on it. Maybe the lady at the store took it off, but I think from memory it might've been like $15 or something. All right, so this isn't my size. This is a size 14 and I'm a size six. So it's a bit big on me, but I'm not going to be keeping this one. I am giving it to a friend of mine who, oh my gosh, she's gonna love it so much. But uh, this comes with a belt here. This is really, really noisy because the leather is really stiff. Listen. like folding cardboard or something but it's ridiculously warm as leather always is and hey for those of you that aren't particularly into purchasing leather do you mind buying leather if it's second hand to me it seems different to buy leather new versus buying leather second hand if you're a vegan for example if you're vegan would you buy second hand leather or just flat out 
boycott leather altogether. Let me know, uh, I myself, I'm not vegan. I don't know much about how people feel about that sort of thing, but it seems to me that if you did want to purchase leather, much better to purchase it secondhand and you're always gonna get it cheaper secondhand. And also when leather has been worn a little bit, it kind of softens up and it feels a lot nicer too. So I don't know how it goes fitting in with the dark academia style. Academia. <coughs> academia. 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 So I don't know how this fits in with the dark academia style, but I feel like from what I saw on Pinterest, Instagram, what I asked people on Twitter, it did look like leather jackets were part of the fashion trend. So tell me what you think down below, but this one for, I think it was $15. Excellent find. <laughs> All right, next up is this leather jacket, which I found at the Salvos in Seven Hills. This was in the men's section. It's technically a men's jacket. It was $25 and the brand is Politics. Now Politics is a menswear company that we have here. And I didn't realize that they've been around for so long. This is a really old jacket. It says made in Australia, rare. Rare. There's not much clothing made in Australia and, and when the Australian manufacturing industry was booming that was I think in like the 70s and the 80s. This has been kept in really good condition. You can see on the outside it has had a little tiny bit of wear and tear but not that much. This is super super soft leather. Now I didn't actually try this one on in the store because when I saw it I was like Look, it looks about the right size. It's a small. Because it's a men's jacket I will probably give this one to Sam. I think it'll fit him. Oh yeah, it fits me. Now I think that men's leather jackets and ladies leather jackets are tailored slightly differently. So it might not be fitting me in the prettiest way, but for $25 for this jacket, that's such a steal. This is beautiful. It's so heavy. The leather is really soft and supple. I do feel like if I was clutching a big pile of like antique books, it would probably complete this look a lot better. I think Sam's going to love this one. He's gonna absolutely adore it. Now, in comparison to that, that was 25 and this was 20. Yet this is, this is called Sizzle. The brand is called Sizzle, never heard of it before. This is just a polyester coat. And I feel like if you're gonna be spending 20 or $30, you're way better off getting something that's leather than getting something like this. But I had to get it for the video and I actually was in need of a good brown kind of blazer. It's good, you know, for work and when you have like corporate kind of meetings and stuff to have something like this in your closet. So yeah, yeah. Oh wow, actually, whoa. Look how long this is. Oh, I didn't realize this was so long. I don't know if I should be wearing it buttoned up. I actually much prefer these sort of things unbuttoned. The look that I always see on Pinterest is like a white turtleneck with one of these and then something checkered on the bottom. And the model always has like their hand on their hip and they're just kind of like slouching like, oh. Oh, I'm so tired from reading the library all day. That's how this feels. Wow, okay, this is, I'm really digging this. I actually quite like this look, you know, like the, the turtleneck with this and the little necklace hanging over the top, by the way, made by Sam from his Etsy store. The link is down below. Thank you so much to everyone that bought something yesterday. He made like 50 sales overnight. We woke up in the morning and I'm so excited for him to have his store and be doing something that he loves every day. He's making his jewelry and he made this pendant and you know what? If you guys ever have any like suggestions for jewelry pieces that you'd love to see him make or like styles of jewelry or anything, please always let us know. He's so creative. He can do literally anything. But uh, yeah, so the turtleneck with the necklace and the blazer and the check pattern. Actually, I really, really like this. I think it looks really nice. And this blazer, even if it's not closed, because closed, it's a little bit long for me, but open. I'm so happy. <laughs> this is awesome. Okay. Yes. $20. I was thinking it was a little bit much, but wearing it, I'm like, nope, totally justifiable. Next up, we have a trench coat. Now, uh, this is from H&M. This was $20 as well. $20 seems to be like the general price for coats and jackets at all of these op shops. I've been needing a trench coat in this sort of color for a long time. Every time I'm Facebook stalking and I'm being a private detective, I feel like I should be wearing one of these. All right, this is also quite long, like the brown one that I just tried. Let's button it up. This has a belt, but I, I don't think that I would wear this done up either unless it was really, really, really cold, but I live in Australia, so that happens very, very rarely. The main reason that I got this coat was actually because of this picture here. I think that obviously it's not quite the right color, but it's a similar sort of trench coat style. And I wanted to try and piece together outfits that I saw online. I love the look of that photo so much. And this, I guess, draped over the shoulder or maybe even like this. 
like an accessory, just a shoulder hanging accessory. <laughs> Once I start putting on some of the other clothing, I'll put this back on again to show you what it looks like with something other than a white turtleneck. Okay, I was definitely most excited about this jacket for two reasons. Uh, reason number one is this is basically the classic jacket that I saw in almost every single Dark Academia photo that I saw online. But also two, because Sam looks really good in this type of, uh, what you, this is tweed, right? Sam looks great in tweed. So I thought, look, if I buy this, Sam's gonna get so much wear out of it. It says this is made in Poland, made in Poland, and it says it's 100% wool. The brand is C and A. This one was also $20. Ah, there we go. Look, this, this is it. Obviously not the right size for me, but it's going to Sam, so it's okay. This is the look with like a big brown leathery bag and like plaid on the bottom, this on the top, a white turtleneck. I feel like I'm ready to catch a train to London in the 1980s. I feel like an author, I feel like an Ivy League student. I don't even know what that means. That's just a term that I heard. So this bag, by the way, this is probably my favorite find out of everything. This is just stunning. The whole thing's leather. We have a key here. It's got patent number 481600. C-H-E-N-E-Y, Chini, made in England. Got to do some Googling guys and look into that, but it's got a lock on it here. So I'm glad that whoever had this all this time had kept the key. So you can lock it, and it, this is a, a really solid opening here. It's actually like a hinged opening. It's not just a soft opening, it's, it's hinged. Ugh. And when you open it, it's really stiff inside, so you can treat it like a real proper carrying case, not just a bag. It's got a solid, solid base on it, so you could put all sorts of things in here and not worry about crushing anything. They don't make bags like this anymore. Like I would rather go to an op shop and buy something like this any day over getting a Louis Vuitton bag or like a Gucci bag or something. This was what, $20 or no, 15, $15. I am really sad that I couldn't find any messenger shoulder bags. That was like the one thing that I really wanted to find. But this guy, this makes up for the fact that I didn't find one of those. And this last jacket, I actually got this one for my mum. This one is the brand Jag. And this here says Australia, one penny. It says styled in Australia, made in China. And on here, it says from David Jones, which is like a quite an expensive department store here. This was $269. I went for this one because of this emblem. It looks like uh, a blazer from a school uniform, you know, like an English boys school uniform or something like that. I honestly thought it doesn't get much more academic than something like this. This reminds me of a lot of university professors that I saw back in my day. So this is a size large, so this is going to fit my mum. Mum wears a lot of brown. This is ridiculously soft. What is it? Okay, this must be made of wool. For 200 and something, no, oh, 80% wool, 20% polyamide. Right, so 80% wool. So um, this one said it was 100% wool. This one, 80%. I think this was also $20 from memory. I definitely do, at this moment, regret not having my natural red hair, because I feel like if I put my natural hair just in a bun with like a little bit of slightly messy sort of bun, I would look a little bit more put together than I look with my crazy cheap wig. But what I love is when you go into op shops, thrift stores, and you find things that are brand new with their tags, and the tag said that it was hundreds and hundreds of dollars, and they have priced it really, really well. Like they've, They've received this donation, they've looked at how much it was worth, and they know what they can realistically sell something for in a thrift store. Like, yeah, it's a, yes, this was a $270 jacket, but this was $20, that was $20 too, and that was probably a lot cheaper. I just think this emblem here really completes it as far as the academia style goes. All right, so let's move on to pants. This is funny. This brand is called Harry Potter in no way associated with the beloved children's novels. Harry Potter the brand actually existed in Australia long before the books came out. I think that that was probably the name of an Australian designer. I'm pretty sure Harry Potter is an Australian brand. I think it was stocked in David Jones and Maya. Okay, so these pants were $8, which is such a bargain. They feel beautiful. They're almost like a suede fabric without actually being suede. It's so nice, it's the sort of fabric where you touch it in one direction, it's really soft, and you sort of pull it up and it's a, it catches a little bit and then it's super soft going back down. These, they fit me so well, I don't believe it. You know, I used to have a really big thing against straight leg pants, but they're slowly growing on me. All right, so I know it's probably not the most flattering angle, looking at me, looking at me like this. I love these so much. They're a really nice length. They fit me nicely around the waist. Unfortunately, they don't have a belt hole. I would have loved a belt hole because as you can see, I did buy 
a bunch of belts back here, which I'll be trying on soon. But uh, for $8, oh my God, I'm so happy. Let me put a pair of shoes on with them. I had such a hard time finding shoes. Well, correction, I had an easy enough time finding the Dark Academia style shoes, but none of them were in my size. So uh, these ones, these were $10 and they have this little clasp on them here. They are leather. I think that they fit in with the aesthetic of this style. They're actually super comfortable. So I'm very, very happy that I found these shoes and so happy about the pants. Now that I'm wearing these pants, I'm gonna try on some of these button up shirts, but I'm gonna to have to get the turtleneck off over the wig. I don't know how that's gonna go. Alrighty, so this first top, this was $8. This is from David Jones again. So as far as the color palette went, I was really relying on Pinterest and it looked as though there was a lot of this sort of dark green color. My thing when it comes to button up shirts is I can't stand the look of them unless the sleeves are rolled up. I literally, I just I can't stand them. All right, so I think we're kind of getting there as far as the look goes, but needs a belt. So I got four belts. All of these were $3 each. This first one is a light brown, and this is just from Ruby, which is a super cheap accessory store. So $3 for that versus $3 for this guy. Now this buckle here actually has a stamp on the back that says solid brass and the belt itself is leather. I love the shape of it. It's, it's such a nice shaped belt buckle. So $3 for that was such a steal for me. The next one is this very, very dark brown, slightly different shaped belt buckle on this one. This one was actually $2. And then I found this one at the same place I found this one. So actually I, they're the same belt buckle and they both have the same logo stamped into them. So they're the same brand, but this one's obviously a lighter brown. Oh. Doesn't it just bring the whole look together when you put on a belt? Oh my God. <laughs> I love it. And before I forget, I knew I had to get a watch too. And this one was $10. This has a leather band and it's got Roman numerals on it. This little watch is so dainty. I haven't worn a dainty watch in a very, very long time, but it feels really nice. I had really hoped to find a dark brown leather, but every watch that they had was black leather. So had to go with it. I really hope it doesn't ruin the look. So. Yep, let me just pick up the, the only bag that I got for this video. <laughs> ah, yes, I'm, I'm digging this. I think this is my favorite outfit so far. Tell me what you guys think. All right, so the next shirt is just this uh, purpley kind of blouse. Now, again, button up shirts, I, I figured you can't really go wrong as far as this trend goes, dark academia, because it looked as though every second picture that I saw on Pinterest, they were wearing button up shirts. Just not sure about this color scheme though. I thought that this dark, purpley red was the right sort of color scheme, but I don't know, maybe it doesn't quite fit in with this. So this shirt was $12. What do we think? I really like the neckline of this shirt. This has these cute little um, gold details on the end of the uh, collar. It's got one pocket here. This is ridiculously soft. I also like the way that the sleeves sit on this. I don't feel like I need to roll these ones up. I mean, I will. To me, there's something so powerful about a woman in a button-up shirt with rolled up sleeves. Get me? You get what I mean? What's better? This one or the green one? I think maybe this one is better because I'm wearing the wig. But if I had my natural red hair, I think the green one would have been better. Oh, these pants! I can't get over how much I love these pants. Oh my god. This probably does not match the theme, right? Is this a little bit too bright? I was specifically looking for a deep red. And I thought that this would be deep enough, but it seems a little bit too bright for me. No information on this, no tags, nothing. Don't know where it's from. Don't know what it's, oh, hang on, what's it made of? Here we go. Polyester, another polyester shirt. This just seemed so nice and loose and flowy. And this was $5. All right, maybe, maybe it fits in with the aesthetic. I thought it was too bright, but it's not lipstick fire truck red. Maybe it's not too bad, actually. I think I'm gonna swap out the belt. Let's give the black one a try. If this was my size, this belt would be cinching in like this. Okay, black belt. Black watch, red, brown. I really like it. I really, really, really like it. Oh God, oh God, the pastel community, you're about to lose me. I feel the dark academia side calling. So before I try on any more tops, I'm gonna to try these pants. Now these were $30, except Selvos has this thing where different days, the tags are different prices. So the day that I was there, yellow was half price. So these were 15. Now this brand, this is, Hell's Kitchen. They sell in um, like Dangerfield and all of those sort of emo punk kind of stores. I'm pretty sure it's like an expensive brand. All right, so these pants, 
The others were so nice. These were just made so well and these feel really, really cheap. So funnily enough that I paid $15 for these and they're not, they really feel like terrible, terrible quality. Uh, they have some pockets in the back. They have, yep, they've got pockets in the front too. These were the only, the single, the one and only pair of plaid pants in my size that I found out of all the stores that I went to. I really thought that I would find plaid pants at every second place that I went to, but have they come back in style and no one's donating them? Is that it? Anyway, so I'm gonna have to try these on with... Let's give this turtleneck a try. This turtleneck is the brand Suzanne. This is made in Australia. And I don't think that Suzanne has been made in Australia for quite a number of years. This must be quite an old top. Let's see how I go getting this on. Oh God, it's gonna smear my makeup. I put on really, really, really pale makeup because I read that's part of, ow, ow. Oh God, I should have taken my glasses off. What have I done? Ah! Oh, shit. No. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Ah oh, yes, that's what I look like. I was really starting to get used to the bulb and I feel very naked now. <laughs> All right, so this turtleneck is delightful. There's no uh, tag on the inside that says what it's made out of, but I feel like it's wool. Like it feels like wool. It's a ever so slightly itchy, but very, very soft at the same time. The sleeves are really nice and long and it's super stretchy. And unfortunately with these pants, I wanted really high-waisted pants. These actually just kind of sit just where my belly button is, but when I like them high-waisted, I mean like up here, like the brown pants were, so not particularly delighted with these pants, but I have to leave them on because there's a specific outfit I need to try, which is these plaid pants with the turtleneck and then the jacket. Hang on. All right, so this is the outfit. This is the one that I saw in this picture, and I was like, that, that basically sums up the aesthetic to me. So the plaid pants, the white turtleneck, and the blazer and also, whoops, I forgot once again, the necklace. There we go. What do you guys think? This is another good outfit. Not as good as the one that I was getting super excited about, but yeah, I actually, I really like it. I like the brown on the bottom and the top and the white sort of breaking it up. I, I do, I think I do really, really like this style a lot. So unfortunately for me, these pants didn't work out too well. Like they're, they're an all right length. Actually, they are like quite, they're quite long, but because I've, I keep trying to hoist them up really high to get that high-waisted effect, but I shouldn't be doing that. I should really let them sit where they want to sit because then they won't give me a camel toe. <laughs> They're all right, but for pants like this, I, just, I struggled so hard. And I literally have like six pairs of pants like this that I've got from Pretty Little Thing and I got from Yes Style and various places in past haul videos. And I liked them a lot more and it was obviously a lot easier to find them. I looked for so long at so many stores, but hey, I'm sure if I kept looking for a couple of weeks, I, I might find the right sort of pants, but you know, obviously the spirit of thriftmas is we're only thrifting the clothes, but you do see the value in occasionally being able to pop online and grab some fast fashion. If it's something that you really want, but you're really struggling to find, there's nothing wrong with that because you might end up spending money on something that's a bit of a compromise. And then if you don't really like it, you're not really gonna wear it. Like I did get these for the sake of the video and I kind of compromised because I knew they weren't quite right I knew they weren't quite the right fit for me, but I compromised and got them because I was like, I've got to get something pants-wise from the thrift store. But now I probably won't get a huge amount of wear out of these, so I'm going to donate these straight back again. That's the only item so far that I would consider re-donating because everything else has been so good. All right, so I finally found the right sort of shorts. I found these at the very last place that I went when I wasn't meant to be buying anything. I was just popping in to have a look. White Valentine, I've never heard of this brand before. These were $10. So there's this image that I've seen of the this type of shorts, like high-waisted brown or dark gray shorts. That seems to fit in quite well with a dark academia. I'm gonna try something now and I don't know if it's gonna look any good or not. Okay, I don't know what I think about this. I feel like should, I should probably lose the turtleneck, right? It doesn't look, does it look okay? Tell me down below. Turtleneck, yay or nay? That's what I need you to answer. Let me very unceremoniously remove it. You know, I put on such pale makeup that when it gets all over the turtleneck, you won't really see it because the makeup was white and the turtleneck's white. In before all the comments that say, Alex looks really sick today. I literally looked on Google for dark academia makeup and they said, make your skin as pale as possible. So uh, I'm guessing it's meant to be the lack of sunlight from being in the library all day. Oh God, what have I done? I can't leave it off now. I feel committed to it. Started the video in it and I got to finish the video in it. All right, there we go. That's a little bit better. What do we think? I 
again dig this I think it's mostly probably because I just love this top so much like with such a passion I think it's such a nice blouse is that what you call a button-up shirt they're really cute shorts I normally hate shorts I despise them with a passion but I actually I don't mind this so I'm gonna try on these boots with this I so badly wanted to find boots like the ones in the picture and a couple of times I found something somewhat close but also obviously five sizes too small for me all right so I'm just waiting for someone to tell me that these are riding boots like they are right are they riding boots they were eight dollars and they're leather these are so cute and they're so comfortable I couldn't believe I finally found some leather boots in my size I've been wanting brown leather boots for ages and these complete the look nicely enough I do feel like this would look a bit better if they were lace-up boots though obviously the lace-up ones are the ones that I see in a lot of the pictures but hopefully you guys don't mind that I had to compromise a little bit and get these without the laces I have someone coming here in 20 minutes to give me a quote for some work we're having done on the house I guess I should also pick the outfit that the guy's gonna see me wearing when he gets here I have finally realized who I'm reminding myself of the blonde witch from Fantastic Beasts you know on an unrelated note I actually just started putting on this belt which is the one from Ruby and as I was putting it on can you see all these little bits all over me it's all flaking apart because it's not real leather and that just goes to show like those other belts back there that are solid leather that look quite old they last so long and you get these cheap ones and they they fall apart after a couple of wears all right so I don't know what I think about this top this is from sports girl which is like a medium priced lady store sort of focus more toward girls I reckon like 13 to 18 in that kind of range you know like it's expensive enough that their parents can justify buying it for them but they probably can't afford to buy it themselves and if they do buy it for themselves they're just spending all the money that they earned the past month as a barista like it's that sort of vibe I don't know if I like the style or not it's okay the cute little collar it's nice but I don't know if it matches in with this vibe very well the color does definitely this nice deep green it looks quite nice with this light contrasting belt against the dark pants I guess hang on every time I'm not sure about an outfit I just have to pick up the bag yeah okay it's a vibe I, I like it I like it all right so next up another green thing so this is very nice and soft this is from Suzanne again this was eight dollars now I don't know if the dark academia style accommodates very very short sleeves like this I'm not sure let's try it okay guys what do we think does a uh, does the short sleeve look match the vibe because what I've read online about dark academia is it's mostly kind of fall and winter style fashion but I feel like if you like the trend but you're in a hot country like Australia you need to be able to find some sort of middle ground and I feel like a top like this probably does that the nice high neckline the, the sleeves is it too casual I don't know I do love this top though it's like probably the softest thing out of everything here and probably one of the softest tops out of everything that I own actually I really like it I don't mind this look it's actually it's not too, not too bad all right next up so this is a country road vest not associated with John Denver this was eight dollars and I don't know if it's meant to be a ladies or a men's but I think it's a ladies one because it looks like it's quite cinched in at the waistline and I have a white shirt to put on underneath this this is so cool this white shirt is like by Marks which I believe is Mark Jacobs like their clothing line and on it it says that it was hundred and twenty New Zealand dollars when it was new it's got all of its tags and everything and it was ten and they had a whole bunch of these at the store actually so the store must have donated them because there was like 30 of them in all different sizes all right so the shirt is spectacular this is fitted so nicely and it's a really soft shirt it's beautiful and crisp and tailored really nicely a shame to cover it up with a vest but do it for the aesthetic oh my god I look like a hobbit Samwise all right what do we think um, I feel like the vest is probably a little bit too long for the look that I was going for I think if it had stopped a little bit higher yeah there we go don't you reckon I feel like it needs to stop a little bit higher to give the, the look that I want but uh, even I guess even with it down low like that it's not too bad what do we think was this a good idea you know what else might be a good idea fixing the ratchet wig you know what I think we're gonna have a brief interlude now so I can go talk to the guy that's coming to give me the quote and uh, get the oh my god I don't want to look like this when he comes to see me. 
We're gonna take a break now, but uh, this vest is delightful. It feels so lovely. It's really, really well made. I don't, I don't mind this look, but like I said, I feel like with a navy blue trench coat, it would have been a lot nicer. Let's take a brief interlude for me to uh, fix everything up and then I'll be back soon. All right, after a brief interlude, I am back. So this is what I actually ended up wearing while the guy was here and I felt very professional. So we're gonna try on some skirts now and the first one I was really, really happy when I found it because it's just a beautiful skirt. I don't know if it matches the theme or not. It's a dark navy pleated skirt and I don't know what brand it is. Here we go. It's Japanese. Oh my God. Ramu. No, Sora, Sora Ruda, Shioku. It has hiragana on it, it's Japanese. And it's got a love heart belt buckle, which is just so precious. All right, so here it is, and for $6, <laughs> I could not be happier. This is so beautiful. Look at the way that it moves. I, I hope you can see the twirl. Oh, it's so cute. It does feel a little bit schoolgirl, a little bit librarian. It is that bit longer than a lot of the pleated skirts that I wear. It's almost at my knees. This looks lovely with the white top. I feel like I need to put on a jacket. Which one? I almost feel like the Love Hut buckle kind of clashes with the vibe a little bit. There we go, how's that? So the skirt actually has belt holes, which you don't see very often in skirts, but oh, this is so cute. I just don't know which jacket I should be pairing this with. Maybe this one. I feel like you can't go wrong with the tweed as far as dark academia goes. Hmm, no, work out, I'm not. I'm not that happy. I think I'm gonna change out the skirt because as beautiful as it is, I just don't think it's quite right for the vibe. So I got this one, this was $7. This brand is called Bon Pre Collection. So how's this? Does this look, am I, am I getting the aesthetic right or not? Do I, maybe I don't need the jacket. Maybe I'm just going a bit overboard with the jackets. Okay, I feel like this skirt probably matches in a little bit better than what the blue one did. This skirt's a tiny bit too big for me. Uh, I would really like to keep it though and I'd like to tailor it to fit because I think it's a really nice color. And I'm not certain, but I feel like this top layer is silk or something because it's so soft. It's just lovely. I really like this. I mean, you can't really go wrong with brown and white, can you? Like, <laughs> no, prove me wrong. So the next skirt, this one was $6. This is by Forever 21, a nice mossy green color. Oh look, I don't even need to try it on. <laughs> No, I should, that's cheating. All right, so I feel like this particular shade of green looks so nice with gold and brown leather. It looks lovely. I really like this. I think this is so pretty. This skirt is actually beautiful. What a good price, $6, that's great. Oh, I love this so much. This is just such a simple outfit, but so good, so good. Even if you're not into dark academia, you could, uh, academia. Yes, even if you're not into dark academia, a look like this, you can never go wrong with like a white button up shirt and a pleated skirt. It, it literally can't go wrong. The easiest way to style yourself to look professional, but also casual, because if you, if you roll the sleeves up, you're casual and powerful at the same time. All right, this next skirt is another one that's made in Australia. This was $12. This is quite a long skirt. I thought I needed to get some different lengths here for variation for the different sort of librarian vibes. I'm gonna pair this with this scarf here. This was $4. Made in Italy. Huh, okay. So how, do, how does one wear a scarf like this? All right, I don't know, I don't know if I'm wearing this scarf right or not, but uh, this skirt, this is so nice. Oh, I really, really like it. This is a really nice length. I don't know what I feel about the shoes. I'm not sure if I should be wearing this skirt with a belt or not. It doesn't doesn't seem right to me to put a belt with this. Okay, this is really cute. I really like this. I uh, might have to play around with the scarf a little bit and figure out some proper placement of it, but I think it looks really nice having the white and the brown and this little bit of pop of this orange amber kind of color. It's very like 60s to me and I really, really like it. I have a few more of these long skirts. So this one, I'm not entirely sure if this is a school uniform or not. If you went to school in Sydney, was this your uniform? Please tell me if you recognize it. The school I went to, we had a, a skirt just like this and it was a different color, but a lot of schools in Australia have plaid skirts for the girls' uniforms. So this one's very, very long. This isn't my size. This is a size 16 and I got this one because I'm actually gonna give it to Tiasha. All right, so cinched in with a belt, it looks really good. I think that this matches in with the style. I'm pretty sure it does. I saw a lot of Pinterest photos with this like gray kind of plaid. 
Oh, this skirt is beautiful. Tia, she's gonna love it. For her Christmas present, I'm, I'm literally just putting together a box of things that I've got thrifted for her. Things that I think that she's gonna love. Um, like a little care package, I suppose. And I think it's a really good Christmas idea too. If you wanna put together like a style box for a friend of yours, if you know what their favorite colors are or what sort of style that they like, go thrifting and make a style box for them. Um, iGirl, she has a Depop store where she puts together, I think it's like the iGirl bundle or like a style bundle and she styles you. You should do that for a friend's Christmas present because you can get some clothes like at really, really good prices at thrift stores and if you know your friend's size and you know their style well enough, it could be really fun to present them with a little box full of different clothes. So uh, this one, yes, I got this for Tiasha. This looks really, really nice with the black belt. I'll show you the length. I kind of feel like I really, I should have invested in some like woolly socks or something, like white or gray woolly socks maybe would have put this together a little bit better. But this skirt is a beautiful thick material. It's so cute, a really good length. Look how flowy it is. It's, oh, this is magnificent. The next skirt is this. This is a suede material. It's so soft and lovely. This is also made in Australia by the brand Jackie, and this was $8. All right, I'm gonna have to re-donate this one because this is like sitting in such a weird way. It's so strange. I, I don't understand how this is supposed to fit. Like, is it supposed to be super high-waisted or is this supposed to be down lower, like around my hips or, I, I don't, I don't know, I don't understand, I don't like this, I, I, I need to take this off right now, I hate it. Alright, so I have a couple of miscellaneous pieces that are likely not considered to be dark academia. I'm, I'm sorry guys, don't, don't get mad, but when I saw them they were the right colours and they were really cool, so I figured I'll, I'll get them and show you in this video anyway, even if they don't necessarily match the style. So, first up is this corset. This is so cool, so this brand is called Corsets by Baki, B-A-C-I. This was made in Germany. So I guess this one is for the dark academic that leaves the library and heads to the club, I suppose. This was $15 and it's it's just gorgeous. Okay, um, it's not done up very tight on me. I don't know how on earth one would style a corset for like regular wear. Would I maybe even put it over the top of a button up shirt possibly? Potentially, I'm not sure. But I mean, this is this is just beautiful. It's boned all the way through. I've owned a couple of corsets in the past that I've bought for, you know, just for costumes and stuff, for parties. I've literally never in my life seen a corset this nice. I reckon this would have been hundreds of dollars. Like corsets can get very, very pricey. I reckon this one was very expensive. So I, I know, not quite dark academia, but like when I saw the red color, I was like, I'm in this store right now. I'm not gonna leave that there. I'm not gonna look at it and be like, oh, that's very nice, but it doesn't match the theme. I'm not going to buy it. I've just found a beautiful corset. I had to buy it. So I hope you guys don't mind. But uh, the other one that I, I just, I literally, I don't even know. I, I lost my mind over this. Look, look at this. A steampunk corset, seriously? This is so cool. Look at these incredible latches on here, the most beautiful hardware. So you just kind of like latch yourself into it. This was $10, $10, unbelievable. I feel like someone that was into LARPing must have donated this because like, this is so elaborate and cool. Surely this was part of a costume or something. Okay, so yes, the coolest thing ever, but also I don't know if I'm wearing it right. It has this detail, which I assumed must come up to here. And then it's got this, and then it's got like a choker, which I was pretty sure must go around the neck, but there's so much fabric. There's so much material here. I, is it, I don't understand. Hang on, hang on. Surely I'm not wearing this right, but I don't get it. So this must come, no. See, look, it's got, it's got this bit, which I was pretty certain went around your neck, like, like this. Surely that part is supposed to go around your neck and it does up there, right? Surely. But then if that's the case, why is there so much random excess fabric here? Oh guys, please tell me how I'm supposed to wear this because it's so cool. I literally feel like a shield maiden. So this lace is up at the back and it's got, look at these crazy, oh, I have to zoom you in, I just have to. Look, it's got this really interesting leather detail here. Yes, this is all leather. So it's got these 
sort of, I don't even know what, like, I don't know what the purpose of this is. Is it just decorative? You meant to put like weapons in here or something? Are they holsters? These buckles are just insanely cool. It latches open like this and then that comes away. So to, to do it up, you literally put this over that and then this goes down into the hole. Ah, oh, I think like without a doubt, this is probably one of the coolest things I have ever and will ever thrift in my entire life. And it was $10. I just need to figure out, tell, tell me what I either, what I'm doing wrong or how I could possibly fix this situation here. Maybe, maybe it's supposed to be loose. Is it supposed to? No, no, surely not. Surely not. Look, I'm just gonna hold my hands like this and we'll pretend that that's not happening. If you guys could like link me to pictures of people wearing this sort of thing, I would greatly appreciate it because I would love to see how people wear this. Do they just wear it to Renaissance festivals or like is there a way that I could possibly wear this out and about in public? Like how would you style this? What should I do with it? Aside from love it for the rest of my life. This is just so cool. Oh my God. All right, so next up, I found this two piece suit. This looked beautiful. I couldn't believe that it was in my size. So this is called Stitches Petites. I haven't heard of the brand before, but it's got these really nice buttons, long sort of flared out pants. I hope this looks good. All right guys, now this. This is what I would call a power suit. This looks so cool. I feel like a boss. Like a bitch in a boss and I shine like gloss, like a bitch, like a boss. I actually, legitimately feel incredible. I don't remember the last time I put on a piece of clothing and felt this good about myself. This is, I can't believe I thrifted this. This is like one of my favorite things that I own now. This fits so nicely. Oh, okay, let me give you a full length. So I think that this would probably look better with a pair of high heels than these kind of like loafer things. I feel like if they, the heels would just add that little bit extra power, but ah, oh, ah. Oh. <laughs> goes with dark academia or not, I'm not really sure because I feel like it, it almost to me is too chic and sleek to go with the aesthetic. Tell me what you think down below, but look, even if it doesn't match the theme, this is another one that I'm adding to my list of most favorite thrifted items ever. I really love the length of the sleeves, they're perfect. I think that the pants, they sit at a really nice height. Oh, the pants are lovely, yes! So, so, so happy. Do they have belt holes? No, they don't, but it doesn't matter. Do they have pockets? No, they don't. Okay, that does matter to me. Pockets are important. All right, and finally, the very last item. So I have no idea if this is the right sort of aesthetic or not, but what I thought was that this would look really nice with a brown skirt. So for example, if this was just a cardigan, possibly. No, that doesn't look right. How about that? Possibly? Yeah, so when I pulled it off the rack, I thought it was a cardigan and I, I thought I was, you know, I thought I'd hit the jackpot really with this beautiful red cardigan, but then it turned out to be like a slinky long dress. So I kind of feel like super tight things like this go against the theme, but the color matches the theme and the really high neckline too, also to me kind of matches. I've put it on with brown boots, which I'm, I'm not sure if that looks any good or not because I haven't even looked in the mirror actually. It's always really nice to find brand new clothing secondhand. So I was really happy that I found this dress, but also now that I'm wearing it, I, I don't know if I like it or not. Maybe I shouldn't have it buttoned up all the way. Mm, is that a little bit better? No, see, the, mm -hmm. if I'm gonna wear it open like this, I'm gonna need to iron it down because it, it just naturally wants to be more conservative. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe that looks a little bit better. Now the very last piece before I go is this really heavy gold chain. Now this is obviously not real gold, it's probably made of brass, I would say. It was $5 and I really wasn't sure what sort of jewelry they wear in dark academia, had no idea, but I saw a bronze chain and I was like, yeah, that's that probably will do the trick just nicely. Hmm, I'm not sure what I think about this. I don't think this looks quite right, but uh, none of this looks quite right because I'm wearing a wig and very, very pale makeup, which you know what? I think, I think you're seeing as I'm done trying on clothes now. Oh. I feel like a new person all of a sudden. I can just hear the comments now saying like, I couldn't watch this video, I was so distracted by her horrible wig. But see, when I'm not wearing a wig, the comments all say, I can't watch, I'm so distracted by her horrible regrowth. 
Look, my hair has been through a time. It's had a time. It, I'm going to be changing it soon. I'm um, actually, what you guys don't know is I'm currently in the process of filming like a long-term video about my hair. So you just kind of have to bear with me and bear with the regrowth. But like when I, when I pin it back, you wouldn't know that it looks like this at the back. You wouldn't know that that was the color. But hey, you know what? Maybe with my natural dark, darker color, some of these outfits would have looked nicer on me. But hey, I hope that you didn't mind the wig too much. I hope that it was just a little bit of fun and for me, like having that fringe and the bob actually matched in quite well with the theme, or at least I thought so. So with that, that's everything. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please tell me what your favorite item was that I found. Obviously I'm not keeping all of these things. I'm giving some to my friends and family and some of them I will be keeping. If there was anything in particular that you thought was really, really nice on me that you want me to wear again in other videos, please drop a comment down below. And also if you want me to try any more shopping challenges like thrifting for other themes other than dark academia, like goth or pastel or what other themes are there? E-girl, I don't know. Just leave a comment below and tell me what you'd like to see next because we still have quite a few more days left of thriftmas. So I've got plenty more videos to make between now and then. So with that, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Mwah!